In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The Lord tells us to follow Him will result in suffering. The popular gospel today is contrary to our teaching that we find today. A health and wealth prosperity gospel that if we follow Jesus, we will be blessed. That if we follow Jesus, we will reign as kings in this world. That if we name it, we can claim it. But what says the scripture? What says our Lord? The scripture tells us, and we have to read this for context, in the verses prior to this excerpt, then began he to tell his disciples that he must go into Jerusalem and suffer many things of the elders and chief priests and scribes and be killed and after three days rise again. And the scripture says, then Peter took him and began to rebuke him, saying, this shall not be unto you. But when he had looked round about on his disciples, he rebuked Peter saying, Get thee behind me, Satan, for thou savest not the things that be of God, but the things that be of men. And this is where our pericope starts. And when he had called all the people unto him with his disciples also, he said to them, Whosoever will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Now, in Luke, he says, take up his cross daily. It's a very interesting addition. Let him take up his cross and follow me, for whosoever shall be ashamed of me and of my words in this adulterous and sinful generation. Of him also shall the Son of Man be ashamed when he cometh in the glory of his Father with his holy angels. Verily I say unto you, there be some of them that stand here which shall not taste of death, that they have seen the kingdom of God come with power. Peter had thought that the Messiah would not suffer and die the scripture says, for as yet they knew not the scripture that he must rise again from the dead. They did not understand that the Messiah had to die first. Jesus revealed his death to his disciples shortly before his entrance into Jerusalem. And we read of his revelation of that three times in his gospel. It was a shock to his disciples that their Messiah must first suffer. Yes, they understood he was the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world, but how these two advents of Christ meshed together was a mystery. It did not make sense. And it only made sense after the fact. Our life will model our Lord's the scripture says, for we, if we suffer with him, we shall also reign with him. We are partakers of the sufferings of Christ. And as partakers of that suffering, we will then be glorified. And we will hear from him, well done, thou good and faithful servant. Inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. We shall, if we, we shall also be glorified together with him if we suffer with him, St. Paul tells us in Romans chapter 8. But if we deny him, he also will deny us. It is a fearful thing then to fall into the hands of the living God. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, may Christ our true God help us to hold fast to the hope set before us and to endure to the end and hear from him those blessed words, come blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world.